Hello, and welcome to another episode of Paul Plays TIS 100. So, this episode, we're going to be looking at Sequence Generator. So we have two ins, A and B, and one out down there. Sequences are zero terminated. Read values from in.A and in.B, write the lesser value, write the greater value, write zero to end the sequence. Okay, so it's basically like a mini two-digit sort then, isn't it? So we take the two values, and basically the, we write them out with the lower one, then the upper one, and then followed by a, a zero. So let's say I was to move up to right, and then move uh, up to the accumulator, subtract left. So if I subtract left and I do jump greater than zero, so if it's so if I've subtracted the left, so I've subtracted A from B, and I'm left with a number greater than zero, hence meaning B is bigger. So B big, I'm going to call the label um, B big. So this bit of code here will be reached when B is bigger. This bit of code will be reached when um, A is bigger. Now, I don't have A anymore. So, what to do? So, look, I'm going to put a label here, A big. Um, just so absolutely clear, it's never going to get called, but just so this is the code if A is bigger, this is the code if B is bigger. So, what I could do is I could always um, move up to the accumulator move accumulator to the right move accumulator to the right so i'm going to send it across twice so it's available doubled up for reading so we're doing this is if a is bigger so if a is bigger i want to move um left to down now i need my b value back i mean i could stick there is a command hang on wait a sec wait a sec sav and swap yes there is a command which saves the value in the accumulator so move accumulator save it sav saves the value in a to a backup register and swp gets it back in effect swaps them around again um so SWP move accumulator to down where <laughs> I'm running out of space, aren't I? Well, I can move one of these labels. I don't technically need a big. I'll move accumulator to down. Um. Now, let's say so. I'm going to need a jump in here. It's getting confusing, isn't it? So I move up the unit up. I save it. I subtract the left. I now know from the answer here. Um. So I know here a is bigger. Let me just do that to save the line even though so a is bigger i move left the second one from the left down i move the accumulator down which i swapped back in and finally i'm done i need to jump to the start don't i wow it's like programming really Oh, it's looking tight, isn't it? So B big, so if B is bigger, what I need to do then is I 
the last one to, to go down is going to be So I need to send Okay, hang on, what what have I have I gone myself very confused? I think I have. Okay. A is bigger and I need to send the smaller one out first. So I want to do that swap first. Move accumulator down. Move left down. So does that make more sense to me? A is bigger. This is the bigger one that's going down second. Okay, so if B is bigger, I need to send what's in the left first of all. So I'm going to straight away move left down. Make sure limited here, so label size actually matters. Uh, you'll eventually end up with lines that you can't type. So move left down. Um, I was going to say, can I can I uh, recapture that? Can I do that swap just once up there? But no, I need when I do this JGZ, I need the value in the accumulator to be the right one. So B is bigger. I've moved the left one down first. Now I'm going to move this one down. So I need to swap it back out of the accumulator. Move the cube, swap it back into the accumulator. Move the accumulator to down. And we're done, I believe. So in this one, move up to down. Yeah, I mean, because that's just passing them through. So this one has to do move up to down move up to down and then move zero to down oh yeah oh yeah it's probably now i see now i'm thinking about yeah how efficient you know this is and moving things across twice Oh, there we do. Continue editing this segment. Okay, but that was fun. Yeah, I enjoy that. That is brilliant. So that is um, Sequence Generator in TIS 100. Um, my first attempt at it anyway. Um, thank you for watching. If you liked it, please drop a like on the video. If you like what you're seeing, please subscribe to my channel. Any comments, please drop them below. Thanks again. Bye now.